by a ruined after the assassination of Hania. It's not helped. That's all I'm going to say right now. Thank you. That was President Biden speaking late last night saying the assassination of the Hamas political leader does not help the ceasefire negotiations that they've been seeking with Israel. Ismail Hania, he was killed this week in Tehran for the inauguration. He was there for Iran's new president. And reports say a bomb was smuggled into the guest house in which he was staying, and that was two months ago. And then it was remotely detonated just this week. Iran and other Arab nations blaming Israel, but Israel has not commented specifically. Okay, joining us now to discuss is foreign policy expert Glenn Ignazio and the national president of the Zionist Organization of America, Morton Klein. Gentlemen, good to see you both today. Mort, I'm going to start with you. I, I I feel this is a dire situation. Israel, or Iran responds to Israel with, with some kind of attack after everything that's happened. Israel, we know, says it will defend itself full stop no matter what. So what has to happen so this does not escalate into a full blown out war? <laughs> you have to understand, this is an ongoing war uh, by Iran against Israel and America and the West. <laughs> They use as a pretext these, uh, this assassination to attack Israel. Remember, Iran attacked, murdered 241 Marines in Lebanon a number of years ago, attacked our embassies in Africa, attacked the USS Call, a ship uh, in the Persian Gulf, uh, attacked uh, sold our soldiers in Kobar Towers in Saudi Arabia. In fact, people don't know what I'm going to tell you. In the Havlish versus bin Laden uh, lawsuit in 2011, it was determined that Iran has supported al-Qaeda. They trained the pilots that hit the, the towers uh, in, in New York, 9-11. Uh, uh, they facilitated their travel. There is a total alliance between Iran and al-Qaeda, uh, and th they helped plan the entire attack. This has nothing to do with any assassinations or any specific thing that goes on now. This is an ongoing war against the United States, against Israel and the West. And I've talked to military people in Israel. Thank God they feel very confident that they're ready for anything that they do to respond in a, an effective and powerful way. Uh, so I have confidence also, but we have to understand this has nothing to do with Israeli actions. This has to do with the determination by Iran to destroy America, Israel, and the West, and establish a caliphate in the Islamic world uh, where uh, everyone is a Muslim. This is their goal. Uh, Glenn, regarding the anticipated, much anticipated Iranian retaliation or attack on Israel, there are lots of theories out there uh, about what this counterattack will look like. Many experts saying that is not going to be what we saw back in April with those hundreds of rockets that were largely intercepted by the Iron Dome. Many people anticipating there will be potentially isolated terrorist events specifically on civilians uh, have you learned anything or what do you anticipate i mean if we take a look at it from the historical so when they did the launch of the the massive drone attack against israel fortunate the allies the u.s and jordanian and, and others were able to intercept and shoot those down now that that was fantastic what we didn't see is we didn't see a massive attack by hezbollah and iran at the same time that is plausible now the interesting part is with hezbollah being so close with a massive arsenal of missiles they could launch and overwhelm the iron dome and they're in a position where our allies or the united states wouldn't be able to really intercept and shoot those down like we did down around Iraq in the Jordanian airspace. So the idea that Hezbollah could overwhelm the Iron Dome, that was one of our biggest concerns, and they literally would be attacking and doing, unfortunately, harm and killing many Israeli civilians. That could trigger a conflict that's great, and I would see Iran trying to do something more than that, more like that, than try to do a state-on-state -state attack like they did before. They realized that they failed before. More, what's going on behind the scenes uh, for, from our end? With, with Blinken, with Biden, with Harris, to try and not let this get any worse. Can you tell us anything about that? Well, I can tell you that this American administration, where I reside in America, has given Iran $26 billion during the four years that they've been in power. And they have also ignored the sanctions against Iran, which has enabled Iran to go from $4 billion in reserves to $100 billion in reserves, enabling them to fund Hamas, Hezbollah, Islamic Jihad, the Houthis, 
<laughs> this has been a terrible policy by this administration that has strengthened Iran. I don't know if they're trying to appease Iran or intentionally strengthen it. <laughs> and now uh, 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 Blinken and Biden say, this is terrible. Israel, you should not retaliate. You shouldn't respond. Which is, by the way, what they told Israel that can do the mass 1,200 Israelis, they told them not to respond. So uh, I'm afraid not in any way, shape, or form had the right parties toward, toward Iran. Uh, they've strengthened them, uh, and now they're trying to protect them in some sense, telling Israel to be careful and not all right, uh, more. we're having trouble hearing your audio a little bit, but Glenn, we're almost out of time. We've got 15 seconds left. What are you looking at most? What is piquing your interest most as we watch the evolution and, or I should say, um, worsening of this relationship in the Middle East? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it is an interesting situation what Iran's going to do, because remember, they're Shi'i and Anaya was uh, Sunni, so they may not go to war for him specifically. But like I said, they'd be able to ratchet up and do more attacks with both Hezbollah. We haven't heard about the Houthis as much. So I could see them doing the factions, raising that type of intensity with their with their combat operations and causing incredible pressure and or damage to Israel. That's the thing that I'm watching right now, and that's something I think we all need to look out for. All right.